good afternoon. My name is Gabriel Willenberg. I work for Bus Mining Trucks, and uh, the name of this conference is uh, The Future of Mining Trucks. Uh, for that, I want to look the future, but let's see first the development of the mining trucks. This start with 20 ton uh, payload trucks, just uh, road trucks made for mining environment and uh, construction environment. Then the companies develop a specialized trucks for off-road that can handle any of the, the tougher conditions. And very quickly, the companies realize that uh, the bigger the trucks, the lower the cost per ton. So they develop the 40-ton pay payload trucks in the 1960s. From that moment until now, we have uh, the 100 tons and uh, 400 tons available trucks. And uh, what the companies are doing now is that they are thinking in reducing costs by using technology. Technology as uh, autonomous trucks or dispatching systems or selecting mining technologies. And uh, where do these trucks go? Now the trucks that we have right now is uh, for this kind of mine. It's mines, very big mines, very short holes. And uh, this is the kind of the mine for these kind of trucks. This is a mining for rigid trucks and articulated trucks. But what about the small mines, the quarries, or the large mine with satellites, uh, pits with long holes, very long distance? These mines tend to look at small rigid trucks for their operations. They look for uh, also trucks like we see on the image, these uh, eight by four trucks, the small trucks, also for mining, but with a very uh, low payload against the mining, mining trucks. So for both, they, the same formula, it's the same, it's the same way to load the cost per ton, is go bigger. So the bigger the payload, it will be lower the cost per ton. The limit here would be how many axles can we put on the truck and what would be the capacity of the axles on these trucks. So from three and four axle trucks, bus mining trucks is developing uh, 50 and 55 payload trucks with adding one or two more axles to go even to 25 payload tons uh, with six axles trucks. This is one of the first uh, 10 by four trucks that we use, it's a 50 ton payload trucks. It's working in a large infrastructural sites in the Netherlands. In this uh, project, we have 12 kilometers uh, hauling, and it's an environment with rigid trucks and articulated trucks. In the same environment, we find out that bus mining truck with a 50 uh, tons payload, they do near to 50 low, 50% 50 lower cost per ton. This is because it consumes 50% uh, less fuel, and it also costs 50% uh, less than the articulated trucks, and they also have a uh, lower tire cost. Uh, but the cycles, the, cy the cycle times were the same for the rigid trucks and the articulated trucks and the bus mining trucks of 50 tons. This is a Burkina Faso operation with uh, 10 by six trucks, also with 50 tons payload. In this case, it's a longer distance of 24 kilometers. And what happened here is that the consumer start to look in what other operation they can do with these trucks if the efficiency is still going uh, better with these uh, kind of trucks. So they are looking for longer holes or also short operation of one kilometer, for example. This is a uh, operation in with 10 by four uh, 50 ton trucks in Ecuador. They're doing, in this kind of operation, the fuel consumption on these trucks is two gallons per hour, which is a lot, a lot less than uh, articulated trucks. Now the future uh, of the trucks is giving us the look for many other applications. In this case, where the roads or where the environment and the material is very difficult to handle, we see this kind of uh, technology with a pusher truck. With a pusher, 
we develop uh, 10 by 6 trucks with single uh, mounted tires and uh, the pusher, so they can go in the same road of the articulated trucks with 20% more, more uh, payload, and it costs 20% less than the articulated trucks. This is another example. These trucks go uh, to work with other seven trucks in France to an underground mine. And uh, this, the operation here is uh, to download under the mine. So they use the, the pusher, and we added all the features of safety as a rough up, so you can see here. And uh, this is just more of the, what the customers are looking for to improve their efficiency, to have a lower, lower cost possible. Right now, this is the operation that we have around the world. Uh, most of the operation we have with uh, service, full service uh, as a mark contract. There's also other countries that we are looking for to work with. And uh, in all of these, the uh, trucks are working with rigid trucks or articulated dump trucks. And uh, they all have a very significant efficiency. All this uh, efficiency comes to sustainability because when you eliminate 50% of fuel consumption and uh, you got a, a less investment budget, the project can start to be, and the, 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 budget, the project start to be more uh, sustainability and uh, is also good for the environment that we will consume the 50% of the fuel. The filter of mining trucks take us here to use uh, low cost per ton uh, to look for custom made trucks. We make every truck according to the project. It depends how long will be the distance or how high will be the gradients, uh, what will be the material. So uh, they also ask for a full service agreement with uh, a guarantee of availability and uh, safety and uh, healthy operations. Thank you, that's about it. 